Welcome everybody, Red Arrow 23 here, time for another addition to the Boom Beach Playbook. Today we're going to be doing uh, Connor Fold, it's going to be a standard AZ core rush with the hero, and this is version 2.0. Uh, the reason for this is um, the old Warflare flare works, works really well, um, but we found a bit of a better path, or BVD has shown me a better path, and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, so let's check it out, it's really repeatable. Um, so let's check it out, go all the way through and then we'll go back and break it down. So here we go, usually we do a different flare to this, um, but it's right in between those mortars there, then flaring up, right up into that crack, and then flaring over, so not using that wall flare at all. Obviously hit the core, get some shocks out, and we're good to go. This one had about, what was that, 1.45, there's about 1.7 mil on the core. So nice work BVD showing us how it's done. Let's break it down a little bit slower. Um, so these mines are in the way of this path, and this rear boom mine, um, can sometimes cause us issues. So he's just gonna clear those ones by the mortars. And then he's just looking at the landing. So on this one, the beach is free, so we can just flag land. Um, you can go a little bit higher on the beach, but I think the spread is a little bit more controlled if you're a little bit further away. Um, and then he's got, so that's the only reason he's using the smoke down there um, and you obviously don't want to get hit by the machine guns don't want to dawdle around there for too long you see even though he flared up pretty quickly the smoke is about to expire just as he's about to leave so make sure you don't wait too long um, otherwise this first smoke will expire and the machine guns are going to rip up a few of your zookas um, so you see he's flare usually we flare just above these two boom cannons um, on like this blurry, really blurry line on my Android. Um, but there's like a line and you'll see in a previous video where that flare is supposed to go. But for this one, we're gonna be flaring right in the cell. If you imagine these three mortars um, are sort of surrounding that flare. So obviously you're gonna to have to be um, really sure with that flare placement, make sure that you um, don't hit any of the defenses. So here, we obviously want Brick to stop. That's the whole point of the mid flare. We want Brick to stop so that the Zookas can catch up to the hero, um, and then we can flare on up. Um, we don't want to hang around here for too long. We don't want to peek out of the smoke around these machine guns or flamethrowers. We don't want to be clipping these extra mines over to the left. Um, so you'll see that the Zookas, the, even the front Zookas didn't even stop. He's already flared up. And again, it's the cell that's touching these two boom cannons, um, these right here. So when I'm talking about cells, I'm talking about like pixels. So this boom cannon or this mine takes up one cell. So if you imagine if there was a mine as close to these two boom cannons as you can get, that's where the flare needs to go. Uh, if it is a bit too far left, the Zookas sort of um, walk, I think, left of this flamethrower, but they do walk a little bit differently um, and it might ruin your day. So just watch out for that, and obviously again, because you're flaring so close to the defense, make sure you don't actually hit the defense. Um, and this is going to substitute our wall flare all the way at the top. Good thing about this one is you could even park here if you if the layout um, if that's going to help you out with the layout with these rocket launchers here. That's not really a good spot. So we're going to move over to the boom cannon crack, and you'll see that he's using um, slightly delayed. Um, smoke timing there, going left, right smoke, so he can throw critters in there, I believe. Well, no, but he could have if he had, um, it's probably a little bit too close together, to be honest. But if he had put a little bit more delay between the left and the right smoke, or the bottom and the top smoke there, um, then he could have thrown critters in there and there would have been automatic critter smoke. Um, and now all we've got to do is hit this, um, the shocks, 
So if there are launches or something that needs shocking up here, you can, it is a very tough shock, but you can get the shock launcher and these two defenses. Um, and you can also, and I believe you can get the shock launcher and this f far left defense. Um, reference point for that is just to the left of this mine. Um, you're gonna have to have a practice with that one. And then there's a smudge between the sniper and the rocket launcher. You can do those two in one shock as well. Just depends on what defenses are there. Um, and sometimes some rocket launchers down here, but here on this particular map, BBD's just got three shocks and then he can hammer down the core. As we said before, there was 1.7 on this, 1.7, 4, 5, yep. Um, and then we got some critters just to extend it out and boom, down goes the core. So great hit from BVD. Um, the most critical thing with this attack is going to be those flare placements. They have to be very precise, but if you do get them right, um, the Zookas walk really dependably. Um, this is just going to be another attack that's in our toolbox. I think this is going to be the standard way I approach Chronofold from now on. I'm going to show you another um, example of this attack uh, with BVD's nuts. <laughs> Great account name. Um, so let's check it out. This one, the... Um, the beach is hot. We're going to start off by clearing those mines. Um, and then we're going to be looking at getting our smokes out. It's obviously having a bit of a think. So he's got those two smokes in the perfect position so he can cover all eight boats. Brick's only going to peak for a little second. And then you can see that they're going to gather really nicely. And we haven't lost any. This time it's not just mortars. And the thing to remember when you're watching these hits is to watch the pathing because that if you do that exact flare and you've flagged to this position, which is uh, just below and to the right of the furthest right power cell, they're going to walk the same every time. So you want to smoke appropriately. You can see the Zookas um, start walking right and then they're going to split between the machine gun and this rocket launcher. They're going to split between the boom cannons that are right here and the same for the flamethrower boom cannon. Some of them are going to go left of that flamethrower, so watch out for that and left of the mortar. Next um, flare point again is going to be just in between these two defenses or two items, one of the damage amp. Um, and again, you don't want to let the Zooka spread out, so to keep them moving. It's a pretty good um, piece of advice for pretty much any Zooka attack is keep the Zookas moving. They'll walk a lot, a lot nicer for you. And you can see that there are these um, defenses down here, but <clears throat> by staying in range of the rocket launchers, we're not getting into range of the machine gun. Um, so it's better for... Um, BVD decided it was better to stay in the position, and it's going to save him a flare as well. So it's going to give him a bit more GBE. So we can shock uh, the rocket launchers and probably the shock blaster oh, and the sniper so it's going to help him out a lot and just get some massive damage this one's got a lot more health on it it's 1.2 2.4s 2.6 mil on this core it gets the critters and a reshock beautiful re critter again just trying to keep his zookas alive wow there was a lot of damage so yeah there was 2.4, mil on this core and he nearly got it down, nearly got it down in one. So great path, um, I'm going to let it run through one more time uninterrupted. Um, so you need to clear out those mines, flag land, and um, depending on whether the beach is hot or not, you're going to smoke. That first flare is going to be in between those three defenses. And just watch that path there. You can obviously be counting the smokes as you're going through this video. And then before the Zooka stop, flare up. And then if you want to reposition, you can reposition over to that boom cannon crack. Or between the shock blast and the boom cannon here. And then just get your shocks out. And get it going. So great hit from BVD. Thanks for showing us this one. Um, this is... Probably my new standard Conifold rush, um, as I've already said. Um, so be sure to comment down below if you take it out any differently, if you're going to stick with the wall flare because you think it's more consistent or easier to pull off, or if you do it any other way for any other reason. Give us a thumbs up for a lot of video, thumbs down if you didn't, and subscribe for more Beach. Yeah.